There we go. Wish me luck. Oh, oh, oh my god, I can't believe it. How much is it nowadays? Wow, shit, it's dropping a lot, but yeah. 80 mil still good? Still very good, but yeah. It's been over a month since my last solo item, so yeah, it's nice, man. I'll, I will take that. Yo, 79 agility. You might be wondering why I'm doing agility all of a sudden. So it's super important because I can get myself martial grace for stamina pots, and I'm going to be using them a bit more often than usual for my solo race specific. But of course, I do my group raids as well. But in terms of group raids, I really can't improve too much on it. You know, it's all about the team, so that's no big deal. But when I do my solo raids, it could be a lot better. Because right now, the way I do my solo raids has been just to suicide before the boss so I can drop extra food to ensure that I don't die at the uh, ohm fight. And that is pretty good method. It gets me about 25 to 27k points a raid but I can do better than that. I've been experimenting with my solo raids a bit using stamina doses and I found out that if I use about three to four stamina doses a raid I can actually do the whole ohm fight without having to suicide at all and do it pretty consistently. So that's amazing because if I do it that way I can get about 30,000 to 31,000 raid points per solo raid. And that's a huge improvement because the chances of me getting a raid item at 25 to 27k points is about 1 in 27 per solo raid. But with this new method, I will get it down to about 1 to 23 solo raids per item. So that's huge. And yeah, 3 or 4 stamina doses isn't a big deal because I did the math for agility as well. It turns out at currently this stage of agility, I can get about 15 marks of grace an hour at the Sears course and probably similar when I move on to the Relica course at 80. So that's about 150 amylase crystals. So if this strategy works, this will be super optimal for me as an Ironman account because if I did, let's say, Wook strategy where I flinched the head the whole time, every single phase, I would have to use at least two stamina potions. So that's twice as many staminas. So that means I would have to do twice as much agility and I really don't want to spend much time doing agility. I'm pretty confident I can pull this method off with just 4 stamina doses and get consistent ohm kills without having to suicide. But yeah, I'll prove it to you I guess in this video as I test it out more. Please, a good drop. Alright, starting off another totem, I guess. Hit 40 mil hit point experience recently, Jesus. I guess uh, goes to show how much combat I've been doing on this account, man. But I think, let's see here. All my melee stats pretty much clearing 20 mil. Uh, range, wow, please. I think that's probably my most used skill, I guess. And the magic is also in the clear 20 mil as well. But yeah, that's interesting observation. Nakriok is dead. Dark totem top. Whoa, I got two dark totem tops, dude. So apparently you can still get the middle and the bottom even if you get the top first. So, all right, interesting. I have to see this. I only got 488 dragon dart tips, but anyways, I'm pretty sure I got a good rhythm when it comes to making darts, so this isn't anything that is realistic, obviously. You know, once in a lifetime. Oh! Oh my god, 2 million. Got myself another of these Bloodville Superiors. What the heck's a drop? Alright. Wow. Well, I'm already like back up to, I think, 4 totems. Yeah, crazy. Oh, no way, dude. I'm already at five totems. I was way off. Well, guess I'm doing Skultizo grind again. Ooh. Hey, my first King Karas. So, I like never get these tasks. So far, I've only gotten Karas tasks twice from Duradel. So, yeah, this is quite a treat. And it's dead. What we get? Oh, damn. Nothing really. <laughs> Dude, another superior. Pretty cool to see two one tasks. Well, I can officially say that Dark Beast is starting to spoil me. There we go, superior Night Beast is dead. Wish me luck. Oh man, Dark Totem Middle though. Gotta love those totem drops. Oh, whoa, Elite Clue Scroll too. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing a Master Clue. Let's check it out. 
Whoa, two nutsacks. And an ancient page. Not bad. And that is it. Om is dead. Not a bad time. So uh, this is probably my best uh, solo raid right now with the new strategy. I used about four stamina doses and uh, I ended up with about two and a half brews and three dose restores, which is really good. I still obviously suicide just in case I fucked up, but I didn't pick up any of the food or anything. So that's good. I'm going to keep uh, practicing this strategy and see if I can consistently pull that off. All right, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at the points though. 32,000. And yeah, I risked it this time just because I really didn't want to make brews because I had to prep twice for this raid. But yep, four stamina dose worked out. Uh, better than last time. I still have three left, but I'm not sure if I can consistently pull that off I think it's a little too early to say that you know, I can do this all the time without suicide using only four doses So I'm gonna obviously uh, just keep practicing Still a little kind of close, but I would have had an extra brew if I didn't bring my uh, my boots And that's the second one. No suicide. Not bad. 32. Wow, a little bit higher than last time but yeah, no drop though, but it's all good though. Was able to do that back to back and yeah, could have brought one more brew, but I messed up and I brought one too many equipment, so this looks pretty good. I was uh, pretty much in the clear almost. Alright, so this is the price value of a 30 like 3k point uh, raid. Wow, it's 500k almost. Well, guys, this is crazy. That's three raids in a row uh, where I didn't suicide at all and I'm just getting better and better look at this three and a half so I have almost almost to uh, figure out the the strategy that I want to work with but this is really good pretty happy about uh, this experiment because it worked out pretty damn well so I know a lot of you guys probably want to know how I do my solo own fights with this new strategy now I'm not gonna go through the whole fight because it's like 13 minutes long so I am not going to be able to do that on video but if you want to watch the full fight you can it will be in the description of the video however on today's episode I will just point out the general idea and tactic so if you want to know the inventory strategy just pause the video so then you can you know figure out exactly what it is that I'm bringing because I'm not going to talk about that in detail what I want to talk about is what the stamina is used for so if you weren't familiar with how like the work strategy works it is something similar to this where you basically run the head and you keep tilting it so that it has no time to actually ever attack you and if the head is never able to actually attack you then none of the special attacks that he does will ever work so like no crystals uh, no electricity no portals so that's what the stamina is for the stamina is mainly used for running the Mei Chan. that's the most important one because it's the easiest one to do you can also run the melee hand but it's a lot more tricky and it's much better if you have like a really good slow hitting weapon like an Elder Maul. But I don't have that, so Mage is like my best option. So with the four stamina doses, I pretty much use one every single phase. So there are four phases for solo own fights. There's the two initial phases and then the phase before the head and then finally the head phase. And yes, I try to stamina for the Mage Hand. And I usually kill the mage hand pretty fast before like the stamina runs out. I usually have a good 30 seconds to one minute left over the stamina. So what that means is I do have some extra time to also run the melee hand as well. You can also run the melee hand, but it's not going to be as effective unless you have like an elder mall, like I said. But the good thing about the whip is that even though you aren't running the head all the time, it's still really good because the whip is just a better DPS weapon overall just because you can do you know more attacks in a given range of time so despite not being able to tilt the hit much I'm still able to kill the hand a lot faster the only downside is that sometimes you won't be able to like dodge some of the special abilities like the poison the only time you really have to worry about taking damage is basically when you kill the melee hand for each phase and also during the uh, final phase with the head so the third phase is significantly trickier because you have to kill both the hands around the same time. You only have a few seconds in between. So what that means is you have to kind of focus on the melee hand, you know, pretty early. Try to get it down as much as you can. And then right as the heal starts, you want to try 
to flinch the head while you're attacking the mage hand. So you have to switch back and forth between the two hands. But other than that, you want to try to tilt the mage hand as much as you can because you still want to conserve your food. And yeah, that's the general idea. I try to do that for every single phase. And the head phase is pretty hectic just because I have a blowpipe and that's really the best weapon I got to clear the head phase. If I had a twisted bow, you could run the head too as well just as efficiently, but of course no twisted bow. So I would love to be able to do that one day. But yeah, with the blowpipe, it's really simple. You basically uh, run from one side to the other. You can tilt the head every so often when you go onto the corners. And yeah, that just means you'll be minimized damage from the ohm head itself. And you have to dodge the crystals, of course, so it is highly recommended you try your best to dodge the head as much as you can, therefore you don't like get accidentally stacked by crystals and like his attack, because that could kill you. So this is not a guide by any means to teach you how to do raids. If you want to, you know, learn a lot about raids and do more advanced stuff, definitely check out like Wooks's guy on YouTube or something. That is a really good guide. And also I haven't even mastered this method yet, so there's still a lot of room for improvement, but as of right now, I'm definitely able to do consistent uh, ohm kills without dying. I haven't died yet using this strategy. So it's proven to be quite effective. Wow, very nice. About uh, 13 minute ohm with this method and uh, plenty of food left. Much, much better than last time. Well, the last yesterday's. So yeah, getting a lot better at the strategy. Oh, damn. Uh, good points, but no drops. Well, that's gonna be my last one for the day, but all the new strategy uh, Solo raid today has been a success But uh, yeah, no drops Haven't got a drop in about 30, but it's not even that bad. So keep trying tomorrow Damn that was a tough one. Oh Nice. I'm glad you got that man Money raid It's like 80 mil uh, 73. Wow. But yeah, so it seems to be yeah, yes. the new stable yes. price now. Nice. Dude, not bad, not like, bad. The favor was with us, God damn it. Not a bad drop. As much as group raids goes, it's fun, but, you know, it really does take away from the Iron Man experience. So now that I actually have a really efficient way to soul raise and get crazy amount of points, I am definitely more inclined to do more solos and it definitely fits into my playstyle a lot more. So I would love to be able to get like a twisted bow, you know, solo. That is basically the dream. And yeah, definitely took quite a bit of inspiration from like Wooks' strategy and of course incorporated my own experience and managed to find a perfect blend of solo strategy, perfect for the Iron Man. So today's episode is certainly a little bit different from the usual progress videos just because I know it's like half explanations and have like progress but I hope you guys enjoy the explanation part because I spent a lot of time thinking about it and you know practicing and executing it and I hope you guys enjoy like the experimentation and the success you know out of that anyways I am going to be continuing to work on my PVM goals try my best to wrap up on that raids the God Wars and of course the imbue heart so hopefully in the next episode I can make some awesome progress into one of those but anyways, if you are new to the series and want to stay up to date with future progress from this character, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And otherwise, I will see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.